lobby on down. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and good morning to everyone. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, for calling this hearing. As uh, you pointed out, since the subcommittee's last hearing on this topic, Somali pirates have increased their attacks on merchant vessels operating in the Gulf of Aden and the Indian Ocean, which includes the unsuccessful hijacking of the U.S. vessel Maersk, Alabama, uh, which was repelled by the vessel's crew and ultimately by our military forces. Despite this and other successes, Somali pirates are currently in control of at least 15 ships. And as I said at our last hearing, I think this type of piracy cannot be tolerated by the United States or the international community. And this hearing provides us with a chance to examine the ways to respond to the ongoing and widening threat. As a result of the continued piracy off the coast of Somalia, many in the maritime community are looking at ways to enhance security of merchant vessels, including the placement of armed security personnel aboard ships operating in high-risk areas. A vessel's crew has every right under U.S. and international law to defend themselves and the vessel, including the use of deadly force. However, I do have some concerns about just how a vessel operator and crew goes about arming the vessel. How many personnel should be armed? What are the training requirements? Can arms be taken into foreign ports? And what are the legal ramifications for the crew and vessel owner if the vessel is defended using firearms? I hope that we will be able to address these issues and get some of the questions answered today. Recently, the Coast Guard issued new security guidelines that vessels operating in these areas must comply with. Several of these new guidelines will require changes to vessel procedures, and I look forward to discussing with our witnesses from the operating and labor communities how they intend to implement these changes. I also look forward to hearing your views on whether the United States military personnel should or could be placed on board U.S. flagged merchant vessels as a deterrent to piracy. Lastly, I hope the Coast Guard will address how they intend to certify or monitor the capacities added aboard U.S. vessels. Piracy is a major concern to our nation and the American taxpayers and, indeed, all the world. Americans are directly paying into maintaining an anti-piracy presence in the Horn of Africa region, and consumers will ultimately absorb the increased cost associated with rising insurance rates and rerouted or lengthened voyages due to the threat of piracy. It is incumbent on us to examine ways to minimize and, in fact, end this threat and its impact on world commerce and our own national economy. I want to thank the witnesses for their testimony today, and I look forward to addressing these issues and others with the subcommittee as we move forward. And again, thank you, Mr. Chairman.